Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a message from the Lord for you today. I was in prayer this morning, and I got my journal out. And I said, Lord, I was really hoping to hear from you. I'd like to have something that I could, you know, give to your children. Um, something that they need to hear. And he knew things that, you know, we've been talking about and wondering about. Like, is he coming in the spring? Is he coming on Nissan 10? Is he... Is it going to be later? Is it going to be sooner? You know what I mean. Things like that. Or just whatever. You know, I wanted to hear something from him that would benefit you. Well, okay. I got out my journal. And I rebuked demons. Casted them out. Pleaded the blood like I always do. And then I started praying in the spirit. And... Approximately 8 o'clock this morning, he started speaking. And it started out like this. Pray. Tell them to pray. I'm sorry. Tell them to pray, daughter. I am coming soon. The time is upon you. I will not give you a date, for then my enemy would know this too. You know to be ready. Be patient a little while longer. And soon you will be dancing with me. Yes, my love, you will be dancing. All of you who are my bride will soon understand fully all that I have been telling you. You will understand the secrets that cannot be fully disclosed to you yet. My enemy is so cunning. He thinks he has it all figured out. But nay, I say, he does not. He will not win. He will not get as many souls as he thinks he will. Trust in me when I say this. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You will soon be proving this to the world. Those not ready, those who won't get out of the world, or the worldly churches, those who worship me with their mouths, but not with their hearts, you could be proving this, oh, I'm sorry, you will be proving this to them. Remember, I said, greater things than these shall you do. What things? The miracles, the miracles I did, you will do and more on a larger scale. Just wait and see. You will be amazed. The world will be amazed, shocked, and sorry for not believing Worry not, for I am with you. I have you, you are mine, and I know all things. Satan does not. This is war. We will win, but he knows that and is angry about that. He knows his time is short. Stay ready, keep on your spiritual armor, continue to do what you are doing. Tell everyone to pray for continued strength and wisdom and complete filling of my Holy Spirit. He is the source 
of your power from on high. Now I'm going to pause here a second. I have to tell you all something before I continue. I got a private message from someone that subscribes to me and has his own channel and he apparently listened to Charles Lawson whom I regarded very highly still do he is a brother however he is not quite the person I thought he had made a sermon one day I missed I didn't you see I don't see everything everybody puts out and he actually said in the pulpit that praying in tongues was not for today that he never heard anybody pray in tongues where it was a known language and that was only done with the apostles and he was very adamant like this that was only done back then well I'm like whoa he's not the guy I thought he was you know he's one of those examples where you're getting like 95 percent good and a little bit of bad throat in you have to be careful okay so let me continue because I had not really prayed long about it but I knew that the man who sent me that video he had made I knew he was right and he had said it's very hard for us to have to come out and tell people that so-and-so is not preaching right or so-and-so is, is getting a message from the devil I mean like I had to do with um, Gary Larrabee it isn't easy to do that I hate doing that let me continue now this is what Jesus told me yes Charles Lawson is preaching a lie when he speaks of tongues not being needed people who believe they must pray this way in a known language are wrong there is no need for you to prophesy in a foreign language not in most places. I am in control of that. It does happen. I have heard of it, but it is rare because of communications. People know each other's language. There's no need, but it has happened. Okay, um, I am in control of that. I love it when you communicate to me in your heavenly language my children who refuse to want this or even believe in it they will understand after they are left behind my bride understands my bride speaks intimately with me me Oh, I said, <laughs> now I put the word me in real bold letters. Oh. Man, there's some bad things happening this morning. I will have to look into these notices I'm getting and I might do a summary video. I don't know. That's not really my thing to do as a whole. I mean, I have, of course, put some things out. But anyway, let me finish with this. I ask the Lord at this point, Lord, what about the infirm, like these people here, you know, old people, people, you know, there's a lot of infirm people, bed bound and so forth. I said old people, mentally disabled, he's right away started saying, do not worry about these. Some are dead to me already. Some are mine. They will be protected. Some will be raptured up here with my bride. So then I started praying in the spirit. 
because he stopped and I wanted to know more. And after about a minute or so, I stopped and he went on. He said, yes, those who are dead to me have blasphemed the Holy Spirit and that is an unforgivable sin. I said that in my holy word and I meant it. Many are guilty of this who don't even know it. Those who say what my Holy Spirit does is of the devil are blaspheming the great power of the Holy Spirit. Yet there are imposters. Satan has his counterfeits and many have seen this. So I will know who is genuinely concerned about this versus those who just refuse to believe that my Holy Spirit does work in my people. Those who display the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay, I hope you get that. If people display the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Spirit. And I've got all the scriptures. It's Galatians 5, I believe. 22 and 23. Anyway, I'm going to have the list of scriptures in the description box. I didn't spell them out for you. I want you all to look them up. It'll be a good Bible study. And then you will see for yourself how every one of them is in this message. Okay. I will continue. All right. He said, those who display the fruit of the Holy Spirit desire discernment. Ask for it. Seek it. And you shall find it. Um, I'm sorry. Ask for it and you shall get it. You need to discern the difference, my children. Know before you speak out of ignorance who is working for me versus who is serving Satan, the enemy of enemies. People will perish for lack of knowledge, but that doesn't mean they will go to hell. If you are repenting of your sins, living for me, if you die in a coming disaster, you will end up with me. So do not worry about that. Because worrying will not add a single day to your life. Pray and rejoice. Worship me. Keep me first and tell others. You all have a responsibility to tell others what you know. I am coming soon for my spotless bride. But then I will come for the rest of my church and every eye will see me, even those who pierced me. Yes, as it says in the scriptures, Everyone will see me, and many will mourn, because they have not received me into their hearts. Yet, they will know instantly who I am and what they have done. And, for so many, it will be too late, because they have already taken his side. Yes, daughter, I mean they received the mark of the beast into their right hand. Any other chip, such as in the arm for a company ID, RFID, and similar devices, are not the mark of the beast. Okay. He is specifying any other chip such as in the arm for a company ID 
RFID and similar devices are not the mark of the beast. People will take it in their hand for convenience at first. Then for health care. Then because you have to. And by then it will be too late. This is coming soon, but not until my bride is gone. Yes, I have spoken these words, daughter. I have warned and warned and warned. You have heard me right. So keep telling them, refuse the mark of the beast. Exclamation. I was bold. Refuse the mark of the beast. Your Yahushua HaMashiach, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I love all of you, and I want you here with me. Do you want me? Do you really? Share this, children, with as many as you can. And then it was 8.25 a.m. So, if I was a brilliant scholar with an excellent memory, I suppose I could have come up with this with all those scriptures in it all by myself. But not me. Not in 25 minutes. I know I heard from the Lord and I have a long list of scriptures to put in the description box and I pray that you will look them up especially those of you who have not yet learned at least the New Testament you need to know the power of the Lord what is coming what he wants how to be ready. This is pretty much a short study on what you need to know and do and keep doing. And he says, don't worry. Worrying will not add a single day to your life. And there's a scripture that says, Worrying will not add a single cubit to your stature. That was for people who wanted to be taller. A cubit is 18 inches. It's about from your elbow to the tip of your finger, approximately. And I guess short people who wanted to be taller that worried about it would... <laughs> He said, worrying about it won't add a single cubit to your stature. He used that as an example. It's really kind of funny if you ask me. But Anyway, that's what I got this morning. And I'm happy to share it with you. To God be all the glory. All the praise. All the honor. All the glory. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection. And over each and every one of you as well. Okay, bye-bye for now. I'll talk to you later.